So how big is the pharma packaging industry and how much is that of the unregulated market? And uh, The global figures are there and Mr. Saha will tell us. The Indian <coughs> figures I don't think have been tabulated. They do vary a lot. See, the packaging industry as per the published data by PIDA UK, uh, it is a total turnover is 711 billion US dollars. Globally. Globally. Now, out of that, the Indian share is around 24.6 billion US dollars. Now, out of the 24.6 billion US dollars, if you take the segment wise, the food, processed food alone is 65%. 65% goes to the processed food. 20% goes to pharma, 5% goes to cosmetics and healthcare and the balance for other products. That's the segment what we are talking in Indian market. So packaging is a very important thing actually, you know, uh, in each aspect. Now, it, does it differ, you know, from uh, medicine to medicine and attractive, you know, attractive packaging? How important is that, like, you know, because lots of companies, there are lots of competitions. So attractive packaging actually. I would say in other way, uh, when you say the attraction, yeah. that goes to the consumer product, like a cosmetics or a food product. But in pharma, more than attraction, it is more important is the product package compatibility, the safety. Whether I have a tablet or a capsule, like Ajit Singh Sahib, he will say that in SEG, they have started printing on the each tablet. So you don't miss it. Today, uh, chief guest was printing. Counter printing. The, he can explain more. He was today, Chief Guest was talking about, you know, the smartphone. Today, the age of smartphone, you have to take in the morning three pills. You do not know which pill is two times a day or three times a day. But you have in a mobile smartphone, you can check this particular medicine, I have to take twice. He takes the solo it in the car itself. So those type, it has already come. But here, there is still there is scope. One is the specification. One, we are facing about anti-counterfeiting. A lot of development has happened and request Ajit Singh will say that what are the countries, they have a nice printing technology but tomorrow there is a session. There is also a child resistant closures are coming. We are coming out the design the, all over the world, there are a lot of development has happened. The closures, normal child cannot open it because that may be a, a cancer a drug. Similarly, senior citizen friendly packaging. So these are the thing, new innovations which we are talking that how it should percolate to the consumer on the society. But you can so hide that. talked about printing, Dr. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. So it gives you protection as well as attractiveness yeah. if you want it. Why does it do all this? Printing is simple. Not in a tiny little dose like a capsule yeah. where you have to run at speeds of 250,000 <coughs> per hour in many different colors in an edible ink mm -hmm. which should not smudge and dry within a minute. Can you imagine all those constraints? <laughs> now, this printing has been possible and is keep getting more and more sophisticated. Requires an expensive printing machine which has been installed in many pharma uh, tableting and capsule companies. What is important is those who want to make spurious products, counterfeit products, cannot get access to this equipment. They can get access to red and yellow capsules easily available. But red and yellow printed capsules they cannot get. And we keep those rulers under lock and key belongs to the customer and belongs to us. Some companies unfortunately still don't want to go on to printing more for reasons of keeping more inventory, not cost. Cost is the material here. Once, at one stage what we had to do was we printed the face of the chairman on the capsule and we sent it to the company. Immediately they started taking printing. He really liked it so much. In another case in an African country for government supplies we printed the color of the flag, an actual flag, in three colors, and they really started making printing. So we have to use some devices like this <laughs> to make people go towards what is good for them. You also talked about safety and whether it's different for different products. Very, very much so, sir. In India, unfortunately, there is a trend towards saving as much cost as possible and applying it to your profitability. It's a little unfortunate and I think we need government regulation, not just on cost, but on quality. <coughs> One of our major products like ampicillin, etc. are put in blister packs. <coughs> blister packs use PVC, polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride is like a net, it's like cotton. If you drop any water in it, it goes through. 
So it's only to hold the capsule and count it. It doesn't give any protection. If you want protection, you have to use PVDC. It costs a little more, but it stops the moisture and oxygen, etc., getting in. Now you may say, look, the medicine is in the shelf for three months. It's okay. What's going to happen? Why should it get in moisture barrier? Why you need it? Please remember, my my responsibility as a maker of a product for the pharma industry capsules and my customer the pharma industry our responsibility does not stop when the product leaves our factory correct it continues to the housewife 